YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is My Little Chroma Squad! Strategies and Tactics are Magic! Episode 5! So, when we last left our uh, hero heroic squad, our second episode didn't quite go as uh, planned. It was a little rushed, and that's partially my fault, partially Rarity's fault for not recognizing that Applejack la did land that third attack. Thank you very much! Um, but, eh, nonetheless, we got enough money to do what we wanted to do here. And then just go to our studio here, go to Healthcare Bronze, and activate it. Because 10% um, extra hit points for everybody, definitely a great boon. Um, still have 100 bucks in the bank, and we'll take a look at our, uh, at our other stuff here. But we also have three things of mail. Uh, an old friend. How are you doing, my old friends? This is from Dr. Mia! Ah, the guy from the tutorial. Um, the guy who they all quit and walked out on. We all know that I'm the only reason why your show is any good. I know that our last moments weren't so great and were a bad situation because of the ideas you have stolen from me. No, we haven't. Let's get straight to the deal. You have a few options here. I will see you in court, or you pay me tributes for my ideas, or I'll be your new director. I hope you understand the situation. Everything will be all right. Ah, uh, well, certainly, um, uh, bronies are not uh, are not uh, unfamiliar with people going after them for their derivative works here. But I think the circumstances here are a little bit different. <laughs> bronies are not starting their own show here, so yeah. Um, all right, so uh, having him be our director is straight out because they're not going to kick out Rarity. And you know what? Paying him for his tributes, that's not his ideas. It's their ideas. Um, so no, we're going to uh, we're gonna see this bastard in court. We're, we're going to fight it out. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. This, by the way, is a, one of the branching story arcs. Depending on how, which of these things you choose will determine a, what, uh, how you, some of your future episodes play out. Which is really nice. Uh, good really playability there. Alright, so let's see what else we got here. Marketing. Greetings, representative of Equestrian Light and Magic. My name is Ronaldo Sampaio, the manager at Mad Folks, our marketing agency LLC. We loved your first episode and we're willing to work for you, uh, making your show reach more and more people around the world. This is how our agency works. You pay us a fixed weekly cost and, uh, and we work on converting the audience of your episodes into fans and income. We guarantee you a 15% increase in your audience on every episode. If you have a deal, it's free for the first week. Um, hey, I'll take free. I'll take free, heck yeah. Glad to do business with you. I'm sure you'll love our services and will enjoy your new audience levels. Keep on recording. And down here, having fun kids. Um, what a forgetful uncle you have, uh, Twilight Spunk Spunkle. <laughs> Twilight Sparkle. We haven't talked since the studio's opening. Uh, how are things at my warehouse? I hope uh, you have all the space you need. I told Joe to fix that leak in the bathroom next Friday. Oh, and make sure um, to feed that cute little cat that lives uh, around the place. She's been there since I bought the Cerebro device last summer. Probably snuck into the box or something like that. Um, cats are always nice to have around. Uh, I hope the little fellow inspires you to create new things. All right, so nice bit of fan mail there. All right, uh, so now, yeah, we have this new marketing screen, so let's take a look at it. So the way marketing works, this is where our fans come into play. Uh, marketing by itself just gives us a flat bonus. Um, so in the case of, and, and what bonus you get is depending on what marketing agency you use. Um, so here, by base, our base is we're going to get plus 15% more, percent more audience per episode, but we get some extra bonuses that we can purchase with our fan power. So our fans basically help turn this into reality. Um, so for example, um, magazine article plus 100 episodes starting audience. Um, that give us a boost pretty, uh, pretty quick there. Um, plus 10 income conversion rate. So we, uh, we get more money per, uh, per episode here. Uh, celebrity post uh, plus 300% uh, starting episode audience episode. Wow, that's pretty impressive right there. Um, and then outdoor advertising, um, an extra 10 uh, audience per. Not too shabby there. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Well, that extra, the 300 episode, I, we could have used this thing uh, <laughs> in our last episode. That would have helped us out. 
but I don't think that's going to be a big thing. The income conversion rate's nice, but um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go for the income conversion rate. We don't have enough fan power to buy anything else, but I think it is worth it for us for this. And we're only going to be with these guys for one one more episode, uh, and then we can choose our new uh, our new stuff. All right, let's take a look at our crafting. See if we got any uh, decent materials. Um, I think we got yeah we got another thing of clay. Uh, nothing to recycle. Um, I could try and craft another gun. Um, or I could make that third lump of clay into some plastic and go for another helmet. That might actually help me out a little bit more. Um, yeah, again, decorative gloves. Not gonna, not gonna waste the material on decorative gloves because the counters, uh, the counters thing. We already have their feet. Um, and yeah, we don't have enough for cardboard swords. So nothing to do in crafting. Nothing to do in shopping. Uh, we already got our uh, studio healthcare upgrade, so let's uh, get to it. Fat alien terrorizes the city, and um, uh, Cerebro sends um, power ponies to deal with this threat. But someone has a, has a dentist appointment. Ah, they changed his name. He used to be called the obese alien. I like the uh, I like the, uh, the the name obese alien. Um, all right, in a cliche warehouse, max audience fifteen hundred, and that's that's max base audience. Our marketing efforts can actually boost that further, which is why it's good to do marketing. All right, um, and this is a two-parter. Uh, now this episode is going to cover both of these parts, so it'll be a bit longer than our last two. So let's get started. All right. I love it when we use the teleport effect for no reason at all. It's just so much fun, isn't it, Pinkie Pie? Ha ha. I almost forgot. Twilight Sparkle, you have a dentist appointment today, right? Yeah, in a few moments, Applejack. Then I have to leave. I'm sorry. Well, that's what I get for uh, getting them their, their medical coverage. Actually, this this hap this dental appointment happens for whether or not you buy the uh, the, the medical option here. Be really nifty if uh, if it didn't. Uh, but then just complain about a toothache or something like that. But regardless, no problem, we'll make this as quick as possible. Get ready. It's time for the minions to get on stage. War. War. Suddenly a very human-like alien-esque figure joins the scene. Shing! No! You're not supposed to join us right now. We haven't found your hiding place yet. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I'll pay more attention next time. Such professionalism. A few more minions to the scene should make up for it. Prepare yourselves. I said a few more, not another dozen. Yeah, this is a very minion-heavy fight right here. We need to get rid of these monsters. They're all around us. Yes, they are. Don't worry, Rainbow Dash, this should be easy. Go, Power Gonies, go! All right, Rarity wants us to perform a team attack with three squad members, I think we can handle that, and defeat all the weak bread crumblers in four turns. So the weak bread crumblers are these chicken dudes. So we have four turns to get rid of them specifically um, before we worry about everyone else. I think we can make this happen. I think we can indeed. All right, so I think we can uh, take care of our first one. First, first things first, uh, team attack with three squad members. That's certainly easy enough. We're gonna do that naturally. Let's, um, yeah, let's get uh, Pinkie Pie up here and get her right here and pop her into teamwork mode. Now, normally I just use her as a launcher, but she's also in melee with someone, so we can use her uh, attack as well. Um, all right, so let's see who else besides her. Who else has the hardest hitting attack? Um, Dash is pretty hard hitting. Um, ooh, well, AJ needs to be in the team attack. Fluttershy not so much. Um, so yeah, all right, Dash is going to be the one to join her in that attack. All right, so we're going to get our triple attack just right here at the front. Uh, we're going to get Fluttershy launched over here. that. Drop in teamwork. And we're gonna get Twilight over here. 
and teamwork. And we're gonna grab AJ here, pop her right in the middle, where hopefully she's gonna receive more attacks if possible. And then the three of them should be able to wipe out this bread crumbler, barring a miss. Not in the face! Oh my god, really? 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 You're gonna do that to me? You're gonna pull a dodge? I blew a triple attack? And you're gonna pull a dodge on me? That's not good. Please hit this. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna suck. Cause you know, yeah, he's gonna run away like a little turd. Oh, I might not get my other director's instruction. Boy, they're all going. Maybe next turn. Oh, I wish I could counterattack. All right. Oh, I am pissed. I am. I am just. I am livid, if you will. Um, so I'm going to throw down the gauntlet here. It's time to equestrianize. Hopefully this does not scatter these guys. I do not want them to scatter. Which is why I'm doing it down here. Good, it doesn't. Time to pony up! Okay. Twilight! You've got a skill that needs to be used. Yes. Yes, you do have a skill that needs to be used. Multi-shot! <laughs> Attack all enemies for 85% damage, range 3. Look at all of them. All of them. Multi-shot! <laughs> Yeah, that's the effect I was going for. Oh, I should have stunned them all with dash, too. Dang it. Didn't think of that. Well, we can stun three of them, or we can start just wiping them out. Um, hmm, I could go for this bread cr oh, See, that's the thing. All three of the freaking bread crumblers were out of the I mean, We might not get, uh, get the instructions properly here, but tactically speaking, uh, with these minions bunched up like they are, um, that's kind of what we want to do. Actually, um, oh, I know what we're going to do. So if we get Dash up here, and Fluttershy comes over here, and we pull out that gun, the two of them should kill him, barring a miss. Yes! All right, we got one uh, one uh, bre weak bread crumbler dead. Um, now, Pinkie Pie should be able to kill one of these guys just, just straight out, just shink. They're all wounded. They are all wounded. And heck, AJ should be able to kill one too. Um, they're at 99, um, and her normal attack does more than that, so I'm not going to burn her sword attack. Um, I'm just going to, uh, hmm, now who, um, who's likely to take the most punishment here? Twilight's probably going to get, uh, massacred here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick her over here and have her take this person out, like that. Um, now, AJ won't have the damage to do it by herself, but she might be able to take them out with just the, uh, with her sword. And actually, we want AJ up here to draw the aggro, so we're gonna charge up here, pull out the sword. Shink! And that was a crit. Hee hee hee. Yeah, go after AJ. She's got, she's got the hit points. Good dodges there. No, don't hit dash. Don't get dash. All right, all right. We're doing uh, we're doing well. We're doing well. Hmm. Um. Ooh, I know what I could do. Could lasso the bread crumbler and uh, pop him in the face. Uh, might be able to pull that off too. 
And who got hurt? Uh, Dash needs healing, Pinkie Pie needs healing, and Applejack needs healing. So we know we need to make sure we all three of them get are close to each other. Alright, so let me think of the best way to position this. If yeah, if we put Dash up here, or uh, AJ up here, and lasso, actually we want to lasso um, this bread crumbler over here. Mmm, no, we want to lasso this dude. Bring him over here. That wouldn't be as effective. Yeah, let's let's lasso this. Eagle lasso! Whoop! Okay. Um, and we need to get Pinkie Pie in range here. So if we put Pinkie Pie up um, on this weak, weak nutcracker up here, like that. Why? Um, oh yeah, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, if we teamwork, let's see here. Yeah, if we put her right here, she will heal all three of them. So, uh, we might not get the kill on this, but I think I'll, I'll be okay. Um, yeah, the two of them will just at least take a... Yeah, we didn't get that. That's okay. We can uh, polish this... Yeah, actually we want to polish this guy off because I don't want to use Fluttershy's uh, team attack. Like that. And then we can uh, bring her actually over here and uh, have the two of them... Oh, actually could bring her over here and... Uh, well... Yeah, we'll bring her up here and have the two of them take out this guy. That. Good. He's gonna run away. But we're still good hit point wise. Just me. Oh no. Oh, that's the other attack that I was worried about. Ooh, but this is a great stunning pose uh, location. Ooh, and I think I might be able to sward this dude. Yeah, because they didn't run away. Alright, I have an idea. Put her right here. Uh, Rainbow Dash needs to come down here. And draw, pop her stunning pose. That will stun all four of them. Oh uh, yeah! So that's a lot less damage incoming here. Alright, we need to get one person to hit the bread crumbler and two people to hit the, the full health one. Um, yeah, if we do have AJ do that uh, with the two of them, they should take him out. If not, well, then that'd be disappointing. Um, I do want to shoot this one. Actually, I have a better idea. Let's, uh... Fluttershy is... Alright, I haven't done anything. So let's, let's see if this hit works first. If the two of them kill this guy. Yes, they can. Good. Which means Twilight can kill this guy with a pistol. Like that. And Fluttershy plus Dash. Well, Fluttershy can drop into her, uh, into her um, teamwork, get a heal off, and then the two of them can finish him off. Oh, beautiful inefficiency there. All right, so these three guys, then they didn't get to do anything because they were all stunned. Um, uh, cooldowns are still uh, cooldowning. 
does this thing do? All right, the sword does actually work, but she doesn't need the sword, which is kind of funny. So we're just going to have her go down here and just punch this guy in the face, finish him off, without needing any of that teamwork stuff. Um, and then, yeah. Have Dash come. Um, yeah, we just do two and two. Oh, no, 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 that wasn't what I meant to do. Dang, dang, have it. You're welcome! Well, we can finish him off anyway. Teamwork. There. Phew. All right, we got uh, we got the team attacks and the uh, weak blood crumblers in four turns. We should continue this story in another episode. For now, I'm off to the dentist. Take care, everyone. Every pony. All right, so Twilight is gone. She is gone. We continue, but we're going to continue this episode right now. Wait a second. We may use Twilight Sparkle's absence to build a whole new story piece. Like I said, they don't they don't bother with scripts. They just do it on the fly. Yeah, like Twilight Sparkle was kidnapped by Fat Alien. This will be gold. Well, <clears throat> actually, proceeding with the story. Thank you, narrator. We should get to a different position. The audience will think we're at a different part of the episode. Good idea, Rainbow Dash. Everyone move! Now let's get to the new positions. Which is to say the exact same positions you started this level with. Fat alien kidnapped Twilight Sparkle and Power Ponies uh, reached its warehouse. I need to put that the back in there. Reached um, its warehouse so they could find get their friend back. And suddenly up and it suddenly appears. Shink. You shall never see Twilight Sparkle again. And we've got Turtle Dude, two Bread Crumblers, two Minions. So not a lot of Minions this time, so the fact that our AoE is gone is actually not so bad. Twilight Sparkle's in good hands. Haha, -ha, yeah. Did you just laugh at your own joke, dude? Not cool. Then someone else joins the set using the teleport effect. Oh? Who are you? Someone, some random brony shows up on the set. My name is Thomas Dahl. I'm a Galax Silver, the sixth ranger of the Galax Rangers. Uh, I think we're, I think you're on the wrong set, dude. We are responsible for maintaining galaxy-wide peace. And this intergalactic monster is a threat to us all. Either he showed up on the wrong set or he's just a brony that decided to show up and join in the show. I thought you were just barging into our studio. <laughs> but I'll definitely take that. Your line is just too great. Welcome to our show, Thomas. All right, everyone, keep rolling. Galax Silver, it's nice to see you here. That alien kidnapped Twilight Sparkle. Say your last words, obese creature. You see, you finally, you, you stick to the, uh, to the uh, obese word here. He used to be called the obese alien. I think it's more amusing to call him that. Limitless potential, Galax Silver! Shink! My Galax Saber is ready to strike you down! Alright, Rarity wants us to defeat all minions before defeating the boss monster. Easy enough. And hit the boss every turn. That's annoying. And you know what? Screw you, Rarity. We're at maximum audience, so I'm not going to listen to you. Alright, so let's think about this tactically. We are already transformed, so we don't get that transformation heal under our belt. Um, so we're going to want to uh, make sure things happen properly here. We want to take out this weak shell shield first. Um, so you are here. And you can't reach anybody uh, conceivably. Um, so you're going to be our launcher. Teamwork! All right, so yeah, we, we want to get three people to take out this guy, and then we want to hit the fat alien. Well, no, actually, no, no, we're not going to bother with the fat alien until we kill all the minions. 
This, this first instruction will follow, but not because I want to follow it, because it's tactically sound to follow it. All right, so Rainbow Dash, um, him and Galax Silver are going to be the three that take out uh, take out the shell shell dude here. Galax Silver, what is your... Wow, Thomas Dahl has more hit points than Applejack. So, yeah, you're going to be right here. You're going to be our aggro magnet. And you go into teamwork mode. Dash is going to stay here at the front. Actually, Dash is going to stay down here so she gets to use her movement. Um, and go into teamwork. And then AJ will pop on over here. And we're going to do a triple SWAT attack. Wait. Why, so why do you get to counter? And why didn't you, uh, dude? Dude. Not cool. Are you gonna, are you gonna help us out with, no, you're not. Seriously. You're just gonna, you're, you're not, you're not gonna join in? Oh, no. Okay, you're good, you're just, you just dynamited him. All right, Galax Silver, you're officially annoying me. Really good. Yeah, Galax Silver. No, fail. Fail. You did nothing in that round. 83. All right, I'm just going to have you use your Galax Saber by yourself since you don't seem to play nice with other people. Thank you. Jeez. All right, Applejack and Thomas Dollar are both in dire straits here. Um, so we definitely want the two of them. We put Applejack right here. And then we put Fluttershy right here. Pop into teamwork mode, we'll heal the two of them. Um, and then Applejack with... No, they probably won't... Uh, Probably won't be enough. Oh, but we could try in case we crit. Well, we'll see. Ah, just barely missed it. Pinkie Pie. Um, what, how much do you do with that thing? You are you do enough to one shot these guys. So you're gonna go over here and murder the weak nutcracker. So low. And then Dash. Yeah, Dash, why don't you run over here? And just finish this dude off. Or not. You've been practicing that move. Yeah, apparently not. Oh! Ow. Okay, still uh, still got passable uh, stuff here. All right, so I think with Pinkie Pie plus Applejack, they'll be able to take out this bread crumbler down here. Um, actually, Pinkie Pie, can Fluttershy make it there? She can, good. Because um, Pinkie Pie needs a heal too. So if we yeah, bring you down here, you drop into teamwork mode. And provided they don't whiff, yep, good. Ooh, and we got plastic out of the deal. Nice. Alright, now if AJ, AJ can make it up to this guy. And what about you? You are useless. Of course you're useless. But Dash can make it up to this guy. Nice. Alright, so Dash is going to run up here. And the two of you will not quite make it happen. I didn't think that was going to happen, but yeah. Alright, you're going to run around this guy, put your back to the alien, and then just take him out solo. Ooh, Silver Tape! Nice drop there. Alien Gun! Oh, don't shoot Dash. Thank you for not shooting Dash. 
Yeah, yeah, we're not, uh, we're not gonna do that. All right, you, can I lasso you? No, not quite. It'd be a shame to burn a lasso attack on you too. Oh, yeah, Twilight has the other ranged weapon. So uh, Flutters is our only one with the gun, but then doing that would mean I wouldn't get to heal. I kind of want to keep the healing flowing here. Uh, can Dash reach him? Dash can reach him. All right, Dash, go do what you're your best at doing. Be be our scout. And don't whiff. Please don't whiff. Ooh, plastic. Nice. All right, I think we're going to just gather for a big old group hug here um, for healing. Yeah, even Mr. Mr. Thomas Dahl. Teamwork mode. Probably doesn't need the healing. AJ does. Rainbow Dash kind of does too, but... Ah, there you moved. So you know what? Screw that. Screw that noise. Rainbow Dash needs the heal. She's going to get the heal over Mr. Doll. And AJ's going to join in the fun too. And I could drop the uh, the heal duke in here. Um, fifty percent of its health. That actually might be a good thing for Thomas Dahl after this. So we'll drop a teamwork heal. Um, and then yeah, do this together. And teamwork. Yeah, make you move up. Ah, good dodge there, AJ. Beautiful. All right, now it's time to start wearing you down, and I think, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lasso you. So we just need to move two down, and you'll be in lasso range. Eagle lasso, weep. All right, um, yeah, we're not here to do the full uh, full on stuff. All right, you're gonna heal Duke and Mr. Doll. Heal Lucan, because that'll get the most raw healing since it's percentage based. All right, so you, I think we're gonna have Dash and AJ do a double sword attack and then the two of them do another double non-sword attack since there some, seems to be something fishy with his sword in terms of matching up the attacks here. So Dash is going to go up here, teamwork mode, AJ brings her sword out, double sword attack, good amount of damage there. Boom, good amount of damage there. Um, but is he in finish it in range? No, not in finish it range. All right, well, well, we actually, we don't even need to do a, a proper finish it. I think, uh, yeah, we'll take her out. Wonder if, let me try something here. Will he use his um, sword? No, he won't. He just, just does not play nice with other people there, which is unfortunate. All right, Pinkie Pie will use her sword and she'll play nice with him. She'll use her sword. Or they'll just both miss. Uh... And AJ won't even be in range. <laughs> in elegance, in its finest. And we'll just settle for the double move. Dash just runs around here. And just pop her. Pop in. Yeah, I don't even know if they can do their finisher. Because it's not the proper squad here. What's this guy got? 155? Well, yeah, we're not going to do our proper finisher, but that's okay. 
I mean, how Pinkie Pie could just take this guy out by herself. Well, maybe not quite by herself, but close enough. I'll have AJ not help again. Refused. Oh my god. Much dodging, such annoyance. Alright, fine. Take him out with your damn saber. Or not. Oh, yes, she can shoot him. She can shoot him. Pop him in the face, Flutters. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Well, good episode, everyone. Um, yeah, I know. We didn't hit the boss every turn, but that's okay. We were already at 2,500. Oh, you have bested me. Kaboom. This threat was easy to handle, power ponies. Yeah, thanks for not cooperating, dude. Thanks for your help, Galax Silver. No need to thank me. You should thank the Energized Crystals uh, we all channel Galax Galaxia Force from. Oh boy, here we go. Head cannon time. Yeah, go back to your fanfiction, man. But I must leave now. My ship, the Star Road Surfer, awaits me. Bid you good luck on your path, power ponies. Shoomph. We need more friends like this one. Oh, that was helpful. Yeah, I can't wait for Twilight Sparkle to watch this episode. It's like, what? What? You guys did one without me? But hey, we, I'm not complaining about the drops here. Holy crap. Two plastics and a silver tape? Plus cotton and duct tape? Yeah, we made out like bandits on that one. And yeah, 1500 plus that 225 bonus because of our marketing efforts. And we're going to have a more efficient audience to money conversion because of the bonus that we purchased with our fan power. Look at that. Look at that. 464 bucks, 52 new fans. Music so excellent, I happily paid 10 bones for it. Band, band field, um, Power Ponies Groove of Justice. Uh, if you haven't watched Power Ponies yet, do so. It's incredible. Really impressed by the latest episode of Power Ponies. Learn Power Ponies song lyrics. Ah, uh, Japanese sound lyrics that I'm not going to attempt to say here. Okay, everybody, so that brings us to our season finale uh, coming up in our next episode. So stay tuned. It should be an interesting one. So if you like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.